Carmelos. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aquarius. The Wheel of Fortune. So, something here was destined. It was fated. Something also is um, something, oh my goodness, justice. That's just something, it, oh, judgment, dang. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Somebody here did not get the message or the memo that they were trying to do something that they just could not do. It was blocked. There was some kind of illusion or confusion here that was completely blocked. Completely. And now, nine of wands, someone is sitting back, like, looking at this wheel of fortune, like, wait a minute, what? The justice is somebody tried to stop an offer from coming in towards you, the Knight of cups here. So this could have been, for some of you, just, it, it could have been any type of offer that was going to bring about some kind of emotional contentment or fulfillment for you. It could have been a romantic offer, a business partnership, or anything. But someone really wanted to stop this from coming in, and they did this by trying to create some kind of illusions or confusion for you. But you were protected because the Seven of Wands is here, or you are choosing, of course, to stand up for yourself and really defend yourself, or you just have another person. I mean, like somebody is protecting and defending your honor in a particular situation so that this can't actually happen. Oh my gosh. The judgment is being clarified with the Tower, the Seven of Wands, I'm sorry, the Seven of Cups with the Hierophant. Yeah, so for some of you, this is like another. Um, I'm saying another because in the spiritual community, so many people are, you know, spiritualists, but the Hierophant, I feel like you're dealing with someone who is indeed like a spiritualist. Um, they could be a leader. They could be a prophet. There was a reading that I did, I think sometime last week about a false prophet. Someone here has been caught or you, this person, I feel um, could be the type that they sort of hide behind religion or they act as though they have really good morals and values, high, high ethics, but this person violates spiritual integrity a lot, all right? Somebody here is doing a lot to tap into your energy, to look into your life, and they're doing this for the whole point of trying to block something in your life. Yeah, this is someone who is watching you. They're, this is divination spying. This page of source, someone is researching you. They're watching you. They're spying high priestess. Someone wants to unlock the mysteries of who you are. Seven of Pentacles, they, they're very much heavily invested in this. The Three of Cups, the Magician. So this could be some type of cult group or coven that's doing this here. The Queen of Cups is here. So the Queen of Cups, the High Priestess, um, the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups is here. For some of you, this is someone who is for sure trying to track and monitor an offer coming in for you. So you can have a person coming towards you that wants to do business with you, or you even have a partner coming towards you. And this is someone that you may eventually do business with someone here. They wanted to stop this or they want someone to turn their back on you or something weird like that. But so they've been watching and monitoring you nonstop. I don't know how this part, you know, look, I just put the the queen of wands is here. The Queen of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Six of Wands, the World. Yeah, um, the Five of Wands, the Seven of Swords. This person is very, very sneaky and deceitful, whoever is doing this. But I feel like you still are in this very confident, um, very assertive, ambitious type of energy. And you have manifest, the Queen of Wands is um, you manifesting this partnership here, whether it's business, platonic, or romantic, and it's going to be very, very successful here. With the Six of Wands, um, the World card, some of you could be going into a connection that eventually it is going to be the type of relationship that's exclusive. You know, if, if you are trying to manifest that exclusive type of relationship where eventually it will be public, this is going to cause a lot of drama. I feel like a lot of people have plotted, schemed, and tried to scam um to ensure that this did not come, but it's coming. The three of wands is here. Peace and you moving on a peace, like peaceful, calm waters, having that harmony in your life is exactly what's coming because there is a person who is for sure going to pursue you and this, um, this contract with you. And this is exactly what someone has been trying to block and stop. Somebody just did not want this to come in for you. But again, they keep saying, uh oh, and no, because you must have listened to your own intuition about doing something or not doing something, going somewhere, not going, whatever it is, like your intuition, it led you in the right direction. There was a hidden path that was, um, 
there was a hidden path that you have the keys to. It's it's so interesting what I'm seeing. It's sort of like um, on this pathway, this pathway, it's dark. And it's like as soon as your foot touches it, like the, the it, it lights up. So you're like a trailblazer. There's a path that is, um, it's just for you. And no matter what kind of illusions, and I'm shocked that the moon card hasn't come out, but someone here was casting illusions. This definitely could have been something that was done under this recent full moon, which was just a few days ago. Um, yeah, somebody here, they, they sent out some type of energy of confusion or illusions here. This was to keep you stuck, but you know, this is very, very major here. There's there's only a few cards out. And literally, I have the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, Judgment, and the Tower with the Hierophant. This is divine intervention. This is God coming in and saying no. And maybe that's why I was hearing uh-oh and no. Someone here knows that like true divine judgment, true um, divine intervention, God himself was able to see through all of these illusions here and someone has absolutely been stopped and that's why i keep hearing uh -oh. i just keep hearing uh oh uh oh someone would pretty much someone here has been caught i feel like somebody here was possibly doing something you know for some of you perhaps in the spirit realm and they thought that they had cloaked themselves but no even even with the cloak they were caught someone here has been watching and monitoring you and and tracking you and even the person perhaps that is entering your life like nonstop. Someone here has figured out something about your life, your journey. They they they're only getting bits and pieces of it though. So if someone also has been watching you, stalking you, spy, I'm even getting something here about devices that's being blocked. So if someone has been like you know, doing something where they're spying on you on social media or um, somebody here is doing something with a memory card or a SIM card. Memory card, I just heard a SIM card. Um, so somebody here could be cloning a person's phone or something like that to act like they are someone else. I don't know. This is This is really weird um but this is what i'm seeing because what i'm seeing right now is like two phones side by side somebody here is like taking information from someone's phone they're trying to clone a person's phone to get information or you could have um it's just it's, it's different energy like groups here because for some of you you have a person or a situation that's about to enter your life that like this person or this group they see it but you you're not aware of it just yet but then i'm also picking up an energy where some of you you are aware that there is some kind of like third party situation whether it's with a friend family member or a lover you know that there is someone in the life of a person that you're connected to that is watching you and that probably is going to uh, resonate with the majority of you so let's say if you're connecting with a person they may have an ex or a friend or family member Who's trying to stop this person from making an offer to you? Someone here is possibly getting like a phone or it's something about a device. There's information that has been in a device. If you are a part of like the Apple ecosystem and you have an iPad, an iMac, you know, uh, an iPhone or whatever, it's like it could be a situation where someone here, there's been information left on a device and a person has found out something about you. Um... And, and they've been using that information to, to track you. Um, there was a reading I did not long ago where I said somebody, they, they may have taken your picture to a practitioner. But the thing about it is, whoever this practitioner is that is um, making these predictions, they're confused too. They're, they're confused. I, some of the information that I feel that they're giving about you, it is accurate. I, I will say that. But there's always a hidden path for you. Yeah. Somebody here has gotten your information through a device or researching you in some type of way. And they've taken this information possibly to a practitioner and they've done some type of full moon um ritual or something like that you guys let me say this 
because especially if you're the type of person where you watch tarot on a regular you guys at this point should know that like this the universal energies and how the moon cycles how it affects us so much i noticed how around like the full moons and the new moons you can tell so much magic is being done because there will be so much chaos to happen, especially like the full moons. But the thing about it is if you stay faithful, that energy, it passes. That's why you really have to learn how to just kind of surrender, you know, stay prayed up and protected. But that energy passes. It's sort of like these people, they will do um, separation and breakup spells or money spells or whatever. But it's like you may see some kind of decline. You may see some type of chaos, conflict or whatever, but it's going to pass. I think that one of the biggest lessons here with the Wheel of Fortune and the justice here is that for a lot of people in the collective, you're never going to stop people from doing this magic or these rituals or playing all of these games. But what you really have to do is equip yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally to deal with these types of energies, to really understand the importance of transmuting it, to really understand the importance of being proactive and understanding, you know, that before a full moon, there's probably going to be some type of chaos or conflict that comes your way, and you just need to protect yourself. Because a lot of people, your relationships and partnerships are being attacked by these energies as well. Sometimes also, it's not just the fact that there's a person somewhere doing magic. When you are dealing with people in your life who are not as spiritually aware or as awakened as you, the full moon energies can cause a lot of people to kind of shift into more of a shadow side. And you have to kind of understand that that person is operating out of their shadow at that time. So how they react and how they respond or how you react and respond is so important. It's, it's, it's key for you to continue to focus on yourself. Um, because th this is a trick. It's a trick of the, of the mind. It's the seven of cups. It's an illusion. I feel like some of you, even like if you can be in a relationship and everything is fine and all of a sudden someone will send some type of illusion or chaos that, you know, your person is, they have multiple options or, you know, you don't like this person or you suddenly become very indecisive about whether you want to deal with this person. You may get to a point where you, you feel like, you know, you just want to block someone. These are, are energies being projected at you to, for, to try and force you to bend your own will so that you won't shift into this, this justice energy. And this judgment is you answering the call uh, on your life that God has for you. Somebody is constantly doing something to try to turn your wheel. You know, so it's like every time you say you want to go up, they want to bring you down. Every time you say you like a particular person or you want to invest in a particular goal, dream, business or whatever, there's people who are purposely sitting back, taking this information in and they're projecting energy towards you it, it's really a lot of mind control and domination so that you won't actually go towards the thing that you know is for you. Pay very close attention to that. And for some of you, it's people around you who are, they're, they're listening to everything that you say. They're watching you. They're monitoring you. For some of you, it's people that you don't know, but they're using a lot of divination spying to figure out what you're doing next. Um, and so I, I think it's very important, and, and I'm actually thinking about this myself now, keep your business to yourself, especially the things that, you know, you want to be sacred and secure that you want to protect. Because at this time, for whatever reason, where we're in this season of so many illusions, you really can't trust anybody. Because I'm telling you, people will come and they will smile and grin in your face. And the minute that you say you are interested in doing something positive in your life or that you want to pursue, whatever your pursuit of happiness is, there are people who they go extra hard to try and stop this or block it. And sometimes the cloak that you don't see is the people around you who are doing this to you. They're not doing it themselves, but they're paying other people to do it. Yeah, but it's like no matter what, somebody, they can't like 
stop. There's something here that is is God's plan. It can't be stopped. Now, I, I do see where there have been delays, but this can't actually be stopped. Because I feel like you're actually coming out as this queen of wands um, going towards this two of the cups. If you're not this queen, if, if you're not this queen of wands, the queen of wands, you know, and I'm not bashing fire signs. The queen of wands can be a very, you know, passionate, powerful manifester. But I'm, I'm just looking here. I see the high priestess out here, the queen of cups and the queen of wands. There's there's two. OK, so you have a high priestess involved. The three of cups and the magician, someone here, the, the three of cups to me looks like a ritual. Someone here has made an offer to a particular deity or something to try to stop and block something. You have the queen of cups here with the ace of pentacles and beside it is the queen of wands and the two of cups. So in between these two queens is an offer, which this offer is coming in from this knight of cups. This is something that this is this isn't coming in as a king or an emperor. This knight of cups is something fairly new. So this could be someone coming back or this could be someone brand new or it's just it's the beginning stages of some type of connection. But there's two there's two queens here who want this offer. And they have a high priestess who's doing work on this partnership. So you could have someone that's sending a lot of chaos, conflict, and illusions towards you about a connection that you're either in or that you're about to be in because someone in the background, they want this, this partner, this lover for themselves. You know, this is same stuff, different day, you guys. It, this is the same storyline that comes out every other day, um, honestly. At this point, you just need to know that this person is going to pursue you. What's for you is for you. Nobody can take it away from you. Literally, I think in the reading yesterday, we saw it was like the temperance and the lovers or something like that. Now I have the two of cups with the um, the lovers here. There's a, there's a divine partnership here that's coming. And someone here is making a choice. Someone is very upset about the fact that they were not chosen to go into this connection. Now, this could be someone in your life or from your past, or this could be someone in the life or the past of someone that you're connecting with. Again, this could be romantic, or this could be in the workplace. This could be a job or a partnership. Someone is very upset, though, about the fact that you're being chosen to, to, to go into a contract that brings you peace, harmony, stability, and security. Someone doesn't like that because there is indeed a major upgrade here. The world and the six of wands, this is like a spiritual graduation. It's an upgrade. You've arrived. The six of wands comes after the five of wands, meaning that there's you, you've moved past the jealousy, the envy, the conflict, the chaos, the competition. Um, you're, you've moved past all of that. This also to me is showing me that because there is a masculine on this card that even though someone has put all of these um, blockages in your path in hopes that they will stop this nine of cups from coming towards you. Beside the nine of cups is the nine of wands. This this masculine is determined to get to you no matter what. They're like no matter hell or high water, they're going to make it to this divine connection but someone is making it very very difficult for this person to make their way to you and they're doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes now interestingly enough on these cars these are masculine for some of you this is a masculine from your past that you know if, the, if you're feminine watching you have a masculine from your past who um is trying very hard to stop you from going into a new connection but the pathway is already clear. The the there's a there's a hidden path here just for you. So they can't stop this person from coming in. But someone here is is purposely bringing about distractions and and other things to stop or block this opportunity. It's not going to work. I'm I'm telling you now. Even if you have not met this person collective, whoever this resonates with. 
you will meet this person in due time. God is doing something in the background, though, to make sure that these people who keep meddling in your relationship and in your energy, these people are going to have to be eliminated because they honestly, they won't stop. The Four of Cups, this is a classic case of misery loves company. This to me looks to be a... a um. A masculine that's doing this masculine energy could be male or female, but I'm picking up on a man. Okay, I'm picking up on a man who is doing everything to try and block and stop a divine feminine from moving into a new connection. And it's very strange to me. It's strange to me that this person is putting forth so much effort to blocking you because I feel like this person is doing so much to block you from moving forward. They're very much in a relationship with somebody else. I mean, they're committed. And this this energy comes up a lot. Like I said, it's very difficult for me to see if you and a, a possibly a counterpart um, or a soulmate, a soulmate, you know, can be friend, family business partner or whomever if the two of you are going through mirrored experiences where you both have someone trying to block you or if this is a situation where you have um a person that is trying to block you and their person is trying to block them this is some weird like domino effect there's so so much magic and so many illusions in this situation that at this point it's just like i feel like god is telling a lot of people in the collective just rest just just chill out and just let God take care of this because even as a reader, the stuff that I've been seeing is so many layers of conflict, chaos, confusion, and illusion that at this point, I think the best thing to do would be to just completely surrender. Just surrender to whatever God has for you because you're not really going to know exactly who is doing what, why they're doing it. And at this point, it doesn't even matter. It, it really doesn't because I'm seeing a masculine here. I'm picking up on like six different energies. I see a masculine here who was fighting against these attacks because they're trying to make their way to a divine feminine. I see a masculine here who is in the background paying, um, paying different spiritualists to spy on a divine feminine, maybe because they don't want a masculine to get to this divine feminine. I also see a karmic feminine here who is throwing magic at a divine feminine. Or just, you know, projections as well as projecting things towards this mask. But it's interesting because there is a masculine out here who is extremely manipulative. I don't feel like this masculine is ever in the hot seat. So, so the this this masculine that I'm picking up has to be the one that's orchestrating the majority of this stuff because they're never ever in the hot seat. You see the karmic feminine, you know, being angry at the divine feminine. But that karmic feminine is not working against the masculine because their ultimate goal is to just keep the divine masculine, not the divine masculine, just the masculine because he's not divine, not not participating in this kind of stuff. Then you see a divine feminine that's divine feminine right now is not even out here. Divine Feminine does not know a lot of this stuff is happening or you're not participating in it. You don't care about it. But there's the offer that's trying to come towards you and you have. Oh, my goodness. It, it just it's, it's crazy. How many people have such a strong disliking for this Divine Feminine? Divine Feminine, you have a karmic feminine of a masculine that you turned your back on that's working against you because that masculine still wants to come towards you. And then there's the energy being projected towards you from possibly a karmic feminine of someone else that's coming towards you. It, it's like this divine feminine is, is always in the crossfire of so much like just karmic energy and blockages and Divine Feminine is never anywhere to be seen or heard. It's, it, it, it's, it, it's insane how many people, and you hear and see this in all the readings, like misery just loves company. There's a Divine Feminine out here who is so in their purpose 
enjoying their life, possibly very, very single, maybe even like abstaining, celibate or whatever. And I'm, it's like everybody gangs up on this one divine feminine. I don't know if these are groups or or what, but it's just like everybody has an agenda <laughs> to get divine feminine or to stop divine feminine from having love. And it's coming from every single direction. Six of Cups is here and the Eight of Pentacles. This is a person or people from your past. The Wheel of Fortune was the first card, and the, this, this, there has to be some some element of like a past life situation here. And the Two of Wands, the Ace of Swords. So yeah, someone here is taking action. And the, the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Swords, it's like someone is taking action, choosing to go on a divine path, choosing to go towards a divine feminine, and you have someone here that's like absolutely not. Here's the Queen of Swords. This person is, is upset because of the truth that someone wants to leave and pursue a divine feminine. This could be someone that's not even in a relationship with this masculine. It's giving very much like somebody was perfectly fine with being separated, broken up, divorced from a masculine. But then when they discover divine feminine, now all of a sudden everything is a problem. Now all of a sudden they, they want their relationship or their marriage back. Now, all of a sudden, it, it's team up on Divine Feminine because this idiot here has gone through somebody's device or something like that. And it's like, well, I'm upset because you're showing interest in someone else. Like, it's very, very just low vibrational and petty. But yeah, like this Three of Pentacles here, someone here is spying on two people who possibly are together or coming together. Like, Hangman, King of Swords. So the King of Swords is here with the Queen of Swords. But next to the King of Swords is the Hangman. This person here has become enlightened about the fact that this Queen of Swords is spying on their relationship. So there's a masculine here for some of you that's coming towards you. They are fully aware of the fact that they have someone in their life that is watching them, stalking them, spying on both them and you. They know this. They know it. They absolutely 100% know. If you have a masculine that try, especially if they're in your life now and they try to act like they don't, like their past is just clean and there's no drama, that's a lie. This person has someone that's still in, like in their life that is obsessed. Someone here has broken up with the person and like I said, I feel like the breakup was fine until they discovered that there was a divine feminine in the picture. Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, look. This is two people trying, this is two different masculines who are very, very determined to go towards this divine feminine. And one is not like, <laughs> ten of swords is not going to make it. Five of swords. Somebody is like, by any means necessary, they're trying to cut this masculine out from getting towards this divine feminine. And divine feminine, like I said, is just enjoying their life, not not bothered at all and someone is like well i cannot let divine feminine go i can't let divine feminine. this person they want to do anything to be able to get towards divine feminine because they're so heartbroken like the, the somebody here is so heartbroken about a separation from a divine feminine they just can't get over it. and now divine feminine has new love this is a masculine you guys there, there's a masculine who's really behind the scenes they're cloaking themselves a lot and they are paying a lot of people to project a lot of energy. They're projecting the energy of heartbreak, karmic energy and third party energy towards a divine feminine because they want this divine feminine and this new love option to have a lot of obstacles and burdens. This person feels in their mind that if they keep on trying to project this energy of guilt, shame, rejection, misery, or whatever onto this divine feminine, as well as whoever divine feminine is connecting with, that it's going to make divine feminine just to say, well, maybe I should just go back to the person of the past and heal the situation. So someone is trying to push you to your breaking point in hopes that you will heal the situation with them because they are in regret about the fact that they did not make a choice to come towards you. They were stuck at a crossroads and didn't choose you. So now they're trying to 
project that energy onto you to make you think that, you know, you're always stuck in limbo and, and there's confusion and that everyone that comes towards you is going to lie, cheat, and do all of the things that they did. Because what they're trying to make you see, it's like th this mask, because I can see exactly how they're thinking. They feel like if you go out into the world and you discover that a lot of other men will treat you just as poorly as they did, that you will just give up the pursuit of your own happiness and you will just go back to them. Like that's their, their idea. This person feels like, listen, you're not going to have better than me. So if I create a bunch of illusions where you constantly feel like you're being taken advantage of, used and abused, then eventually you'll just cave in and you'll go back to them. That's, that's really this person's mindset. It's sick. But that's not the case. You have a very passionate new beginning with someone that is emotionally available, who will protect you, who will love you and care for you and give you exactly what you want. Do not fall victim to what this person... This is an angry, angry, miserable person here who is upset that you do have an opportunity to create the life that you truly want this person is so furious about this here he is right here this king of wands this person is mad that you you're manifesting your ten of cups and they're being left out in the cold yeah you're moving completely forward the chariot and the empress you're moving forward you don't care because what did i say here is the hidden path for you there is a path here. It, it lights up. When your foot touches the pavement of this path, it lights up. It's not a pathway that anybody else sees. And that's what God is saying. God is saying, what's for you is just for you. Nobody else can see it. They don't understand it. They don't know. I only gave this dream to you. So it doesn't matter how much these people try to attack you in your dreams or anything else. There was a dream that was only given to you. King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you have a person that's coming in. Like I said, they're slow and steady. King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, they know what they want. Nine of Cups, they're intentional. They know what they want, and what they want is a legacy. They want a family. That's why this person is trying so hard to create these strongholds in your life so that you will face some type of ending. They don't want this person to make their way to you because they are, they're looking into it already. Somebody here, like I said, the hermit and the fool card, somebody is looking into your brand new beginning and they already know that this person here, they can give you the life that you want. Either they're well on the way or they're coming. Yeah, because everything here has already been balanced out. Everything has been balanced out for you to have harmony, but someone wants you to feel like you can't see, you can't touch anything, like they don't know. But also God is saying, you're not going to actually see this new beginning coming. It's going to sneak up on you. So this person here who is obsessed and juggling and can't seem to figure their life out and, and the reason why they went wrong, now they're obsessed. They can't seem to get anything together. Wow. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. So like I said, you have this King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles came out in the reading yesterday. And look at what we have here, the emperor. Some of you guys have like a um, a passed on loved one, an angel, a guide, a, an ancestor. They're ensuring that you get exactly what's due to you by going into this connection. Because here you have the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles with the sun. So some of you, you will go into a new connection and you may even have a child with this person. You're walking away from someone who is childish and you're going to something that's going to allow you to actually have a very grounded, stable, new beginning. And this person, like, they're, they're having a fit about it. Because they, they refuse to get their life together. This person is obsessed. They're controlling. They're possessive. But they're juggling in life. For some of you, you have more than one person in your energy. Because this, this devil to a pentacles person, this feels different from the other person that is possibly in a connection with someone and trying to block you you it's like all of somebody here has just like released a bunch of karmic energy and sent it your way because i feel it just seems to me seriously like 
you have more than one masculine. This could be more than one ex, or you could have an ex, and then you're, you're dealing with someone now, and you may just be deciding that you're just going to start completely over and go towards what you know you really, really are trying to manifest, what you truly desire. And it's like everybody is so mad. People get very upset when this particular divine feminine that I'm picking up on, when you walk away, it's like it's earth shattering because every person gets so upset with the fact that you choose to walk away and just simply choose yourself. You definitely have something here from your past though. Six of Cups, someone from your past is very upset that you have a new a new cycle starting that they can't go on. But there's another person in your energy that wants to be on this wheel with you and they can't seem to get it together. So I feel like Divine Feminine right now, you're just surrendering and you're walking away from everything. And every person that you're walking away from is like very upset. Hell, it seems to me like even the Karmic Feminines who are with these masculines, even they are mad when you walk away. It's just team gang up on Divine Feminine Day. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I, I just, I don't know. It doesn't. Ace of Cups. Love is, is coming. King of Cups. Ace of Cups. Ten of Cups. Yeah. You're walking away onto your journey. You There's a journey here that is hidden, but it's there just for you to, to uncover, to tap into. And it's beautiful. It's everything that you want. You're going to get reciprocal love here. It's, it's someone that's going to come in and, and truly take care of you. These people who were on the fence about you, stuck at a crossroads, they need to just leave. Like, get out of your energy. Seriously, somebody here is, like, obsessed with your energy. But I'm telling you, it's more than one person. In this reading, I'm picking up, like, six different energies. You have, it's like every single masculine that you've ever dealt with and any of the karmic feminines in their life they tag team you and gang up on you because you like they're they're upset when you're around they're upset when you're when you remove yourself too these are just a bunch of people who are completely obsessed with your energy yeah look at that the empress they like they're obsessed I, i'm telling you i don't know who you are or what this but the the obsession when it comes to your energy is real it's like every single person that comes in contact with you or they see a picture of you they get a reading on you or whatever they don't just get upset and say oh wow you know who is that no they become this is like you meet a guy who has an ex an ex and the ex wants to be friends with you because they become obsessed with you some of you literally you have women who have been in relationships with masculines who are interested in you, they're attracted to you. They themselves are now wondering if it, if you would swing the other way to be with them. That's how obsessed they are. Seriously. It, it, it's like whatever it takes to, to get close to you, they, they're willing to do it. My goodness. Like, I don't... <laughs> oh. What is this? Is this like a... Block sacral chakra. Neighborhood drama. It says one or some of your neighbors really don't like you. Fake smiles and small talk. Your sacral chakra, someone could be trying to block your sacral chakra. Of course, this has everything to do with, you know, your emotions, your fertility, you feeling like a free spirit, um, you setting intentions. It says an ex-friend is still pressed by what happened. You may want to get yourself some smoky quartz and tiger's eye. Smoky Quartz provides a cloak of invisibility, allowing you to go unnoticed and removing vulnerability. And Tiger's Eye helps with grounding, protection, self-confidence, inner strength, willpower, and clarity. So even if you're not into crystals, you just want to, even in your prayers, just ask for being more grounded. I mentioned that in the reading yesterday. You need to really ground yourself. Like I said, understand that with these full moons and these different transits that are happening there's a lot of chaotic energy that is being sent out and a lot of illusions. Make sure that you're getting into prayer and meditation if that works for you. But you're going to have to stay very grounded and in a very high vibrational type of energy so that these low vibrational energies can't connect to you. Because right now, they are doing everything that they possibly can to connect to you. I don't know what the significance is of people utilizing your pictures 
but it's something about your pictures like they're they're doing so much with your pictures to look at you or i don't know if if you have a platform if they can see you online they're watching you somebody here is obsessed with i mean details about you that it's it's creepy hating on your creativeness and your ideals yeah block solar plexus get a dream catcher these people are coming into your dreams doing things this is a narcissist this do you have a friend a family member that's trying to like hex or curse you and they're using your picture so i don't know if somebody is like trying to put your picture on some kind of altar or or what's happening here they're putting your pictures on altars and in jars and all kinds of different like doing all this heavy spell work to try and stop you or block you and it's all out of just pure jealousy envy like this is weird this person could be an air sign. Be careful not to overindulge in alcoholic beverages. Somebody here could have air heavily aspected in their chart. This could be someone who drinks and smokes or something like that. A heavy copycat energy, but it's like your spirit team, your your angels, gods, and they all, they're aware of what's happening. I, I think that you just need to, yeah, look, your ex is preying on your downfall trying to alter your values and morals on making life decisions yeah somebody here could be sending an energy towards you so that you will overindulge in things drinking alcohol food or whatever like somebody just is upset that you truly are moving forward in this energy of being a true divine feminine like you trust your intuition you make healthy decisions healthy you know just choices whether it's food with your finances or whatever somebody is really looking for you to just break and again they're trying to send this energy towards you to make you think that life is just doom and gloom and there's no good people friends family or especially lovers in the world so that you will go back this is just the devil's way of trying to seduce you back into an, an energy that you've already grown from but it just i just don't understand why these people are so why why is it so important for you to be in this past energy with them it's like these people like they're addicted to feeding off of you 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 have to be the absolute best source of narc supply that means that you you're, you're beaming so high like these narcissists I'm t they cannot survive without you or at least that's how they they feel like they cannot survive without you. They're doing everything to get you to come back. Surrender to the divine, full moon. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You need to just surrender right now. A lot of you, please stop trying to figure out who's doing what, why they're doing it. You don't need an explanation. Just just pray. Just meditate. Cleanse and protect. Don't even don't even weigh yourself down right now trying to figure out the who, what, when, where, why. It doesn't even matter because you have so many. Look, your commitment is being tested. These energies are coming from every direction, directions that you you don't even see or couldn't even imagine. So do not worry like worry yourself. Communication is key. Somebody doing some somebody somebody here is two faced. It says new moon in Gemini. Somebody could have Gemini heavily aspected in their chart. But Gemini represents two heads, two faces, two brains. Somebody here, this is a double-minded person. A double-minded man will always manifest chaos. This is somebody here, they don't know what they want. Balance spirituality and practicality, full moon in Pisces. Full moon in Pisces, that full moon in Pisces energy, well, I'm sorry, because the full moon was just, but we're in Pisces and we just had a full moon. The full moon was actually just in Virgo, which is here. You are good enough. So a lot of people right now, what they're doing is they're sending all of this negative energy to you to really try and um, test your, your level of faith and commitment when it comes to you actually having high value and self-worth. So... Like I said at the very beginning, it was uh-oh and no. Every time somebody comes at you trying to make you lower yourself, you need to say, uh-oh, no. Wait a minute, no. Abort mission. 
Because what these people are trying to do is they're trying to break all of your confidence down. That's, that's what a narcissist will do. It's to break you down and to isolate you and make you feel like you are not good enough. This full moon in Virgo, here in Pisces season and with Saturn going into Pisces, you have good karma coming. And you have it coming because you've made good decisions and because you are this high vibrational person. They're trying to lower you. They're trying to get you to do things like drinking, smoking, going out, dealing with the wrong type of people or whatever so that your vibration will lower and it will be easier for them to attach to you. They want to attach to you so that they can drag you to the pits of hell with them because they know they can't get out. This is somebody here who is stuck behind the gate and they know they'll never get out. This person is, these people are already stuck in prison. And here you are living freely. It's like they're trying to force you to commit a crime so that you you will somehow end up behind bars. They they hate the fact that I'm literally seeing people like they're they're in a cage. But the cage is wide open. They, they see you out living your life. They want you in that cage with them. They it, it's killing them. Because the truth is, you was once a part of this group. You were once in a karmic energy. These were once the friends and the family and the lovers that you dealt with. And they don't understand why did you make it out. And here we are still stuck. These people purposely want you to commit a crime. And for some of you, this is like real life. People want you to get caught up in a crime. Somebody could actually be trying to get you sent to jail. That's how angry and upset they are. About the fact that they're stuck and you're not. So you need to really guard and protect yourself, tap in and really just let God guide you right now. Yeah, look at this. A new romantic cycle begins. You have a new romantic cycle beginning. Confidence is the key to your success. Yes, be very confident. Something in your life is being eclipsed out, this karmic energy. And it's like the devil just is coming in to really, really test you. Your commitment is being tested in a major way way right now it's like so are you really a high vibrational person do you really have self-worth and value do you really know how to put up boundaries do you really know how to use your actual wisdom and discernment this how bad do you want this love how bad do you want this happy life are you willing really, are you really willing to turn your back on all things that are going to turn you away from god that's what that's that's the question To be a hierophant, a high priestess, you have to be fully committed to living a set-apart life. So when you come across people and they are attached to, like I said, the kingdom of darkness in any way, you have to understand you become guilty by association. You're held to a totally different standard. That's the reason why they're in the cage and you're running around free. But you can't have step here.